Hello, welcome to Yoga with Rach. I'm Rach, thank you very much for joining me. We're on week three of our Gemini Viana Vayu. So we're working with those two systems, that outer and inner. We're working with moving through the limbs and building that heat up into the body. Uh, so Gemini are an air sign. They're our first air sign, they're the communicators. Um, so we have that flowing movement, um, but the opposite signs of Gemini are Sagittarius. Um, and it's that sort of going a bit bigger. So we start off local and then we get global is the kind of way I think about moving out of Gemini into Sagittarius. We move into that fire energy of Sagittarius. So we want to bring up that duality. Remember Gemini are the twins. So we have that duality working there. And I thought it was quite nice to highlight we have the duality of Gemini air sign moving into Sagittarius. Uh, with our fire sign, which we do have when we had our full moon. Uh, I believe that was last Friday, so we're currently in eclipse season uh, when this video goes up. And so we're building that heat up into the body. So the movement's fairly slow, but we're getting the outer body moving and getting the inner body working. So we're really working with the core, working with our balance. We're gonna work with our downward facing dog. We're gonna move through some down dog splits, working with knee to belly plank, and we're gonna flow through warrior one, Warrior three, we're going to go into warrior two, half moon, and then we're going to have a little go with um, flowing through that all in one go, and there's a bit of movement with the arms as well. Um, we'll have a little go with a little bit extra at the end, but I don't want to say about that yet. So, come up into downward facing dog. So, from tabletop, spread the fingertips nice and wide, tucking under the toes, drawing the shoulders back, tailbone high. We will be working with down dog splits. Make sure you have plenty of room around you so you can work from the hips when you lift the leg up rather than working from the knee and lifting the foot up. Focusing on the breath. Inhale, slide the right foot back to lift it up, down dog splits. Exhale, lower the foot back down. Changing sides, inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, lower, inhale, down dog splits, exhale, lower, so that was the right side again, this time left side, inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, lower, we're going to add on, inhale, right leg lifts, exhale, bring the knee into the belly, pull the shoulders forward, keep the knee as high as you can, knee to belly plank, and inhale, down dog splits. Exhale, lower the right foot to the mat, changing sides. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring the knee into the belly, pull the shoulders forward, knee to belly plank. Inhale, down dog splits, pull the shoulders back, tailbone high. Exhale, lower down, adding on. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to belly plank, have a little hover. When you're ready. Place the right foot down in between the hands. You're going to place the left heel down, so you might need to shorten your stance. As you push into the feet, lift up into your warrior one. Hips are facing the back of the mat. You can nudge that left foot back. So hopefully you can see me, because I don't have as much room. We're still in lockdown, uh, so I'm not filming this at the studio. But you can go with this. So we're going to nudge back a little bit more so you can see. So we're in a warrior one, we've got the hips facing forward, we're going to let the arms relax, we're going to do three rounds of fist of fire with ha breath. So you're going to inhale, wave the arms up, exhale, make a fist, pull the hands down to the hips with a nice ha, bending into the elbows, and you can tuck the chin into the chest. Inhale, wave and ripple the arms up, make a fist, exhale, ha, pull the hands down by the hips. Last one, inhale, ripple and wave the arms up, make a fist, exhale, ha, Pull the hands down. So depending on the room you've got around, I haven't got much room in front of me, so I'm going to bring my right foot to the middle of the mat. You might have more room in front of you, so you might leave the right foot where it is and set the left foot into the middle of the mat. Keep the hips facing the top of the mat as we start to fold forward. Hands can stay with the hips and start to lift your left foot up as we check in with warrior three. That's it. When you're ready, bring the hands down, push the left foot to the back of the mat, set the right foot back to meet it, have a little walk on the spot, and you do that on the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, knee to belly plank, have a little hover if you can, don't rush to place that left foot down, give it a nudge if you need to though. Place your right heel down onto the mat, push into the feet, 
lift up. Find your warrior two, hips are facing the top of the mat. You might nudge that right foot back. Let the hands relax. Inhale, wave or ripple the arms up. Make a fist, exhale, ha. Pull the hands down by the hips. Do that two more times. Inhale, ripple or wave the arms up. Make a fist, ha. Pull the hands down and back. Last one, inhale, ripple or wave the arms up. Make a fist, ha. Pull the hands down. Really good fun with the balance. Lifting up to standing. Again, you might move the back foot if you've got room to fold forward. Or let me bring the front foot into the middle. So you're shortening the stance as you fold. Hands can be by the hips. Lifting that right leg up. You don't have to have that left leg uber straight, especially if the hamstrings are tight. Try to keep the back flat. Whenever you're ready, bring the hands down. Push the right foot to the back of the mat. Left foot follows, have a little walk on the spot. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to the belly, pull the shoulders forward. Placing the right foot down. This time we're going into warrior two. Turn the left foot so the toes face alongside. Lifting up with the arms, sweep that left arm over your head as you push the right arm forward, push the left arm back. You can again widen the stance, that feels okay, into working with the hips and the thighs. Push the arms out, palms facing down. Bring the hands in and pushing the arms open. Bring the hands in, pushing the arms open. Focusing on the breath, you might be inhaling or exhaling here. You might be inhaling or exhaling here. Last one, you're welcome to stay in warrior two and then find your way into downward dog. Or we're gonna again shorten the stance. If you're moving the front leg, you can move the back leg a little bit first. So you're bringing the front leg into the middle of the mat if you need more room in front of you. Or again, if you have that room in front of you, you can step the, the back foot in. I like to work with the front leg around the middle of the mat personally, so you have plenty of room. You might need a block as well, so I will show you this with a block as well as working with the mat. We're gonna check in with our half moon pose. So we still keep the hips out to the side. So with our warrior three, we lifted one leg up, but we stayed looking down at the mat. Now we're looking out to the side. We're gonna shift the weight into our right leg, keeping the arms open from our warrior two. Bring the right hand down, keep the left arm over the arm, and we've got the left leg lifted. Now, if you need to, so if you've got short arms, but lovely long legs, you can work with a block. Doesn't matter what height it is, but bring the mat to you. So you can place the hand onto the block and then shift the weight into your right leg, right hand as you lift the left leg up and reach the left arm up to the ceiling for that half moon pose. Focusing on the breath, be really mindful as you release. We can bring that left hand down, push the left foot to the back of the mat, push the right foot back, into downward dog. Let's have a go on the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring the knee into the belly, pull the shoulders forward, knee to belly plank, place the left foot in between the hands. We're going into warrior two, so turn the right foot to face the long edge of the mat. Lift the arms up, but sweep the right arm over your head. Push the right hand to the back of the mat and open the left arm to the top of the mat. I'm gonna move so I can see the camera. So the hips are open, you're facing the side. Arms are nice and open, focusing on the breath. So you can bring the hands in, either inhaling or exhaling, and push the hands out. Again, either inhaling or exhaling. You're welcome to stay here or have a go with that half moon pose. So shorten the stance. So it might mean that you move the back foot and then the front foot, perfectly fine. Stay looking out to the side. So we shift the weight into our left leg, bringing the right hand down. You don't have to lift that the right leg very high, or you can be lifting it up in line with the hip, so slightly higher as you raise the right arm up. Use the block if you need to. So make the pose accessible. Focusing on the breath. And slowly bring right hand down, push the right foot back. So the left foot back. 
have a little walk on the spot. And from here, we're going to have a little go with a flow. So we can just come up to standing. So from your downward dog, you might walk, you might step, you might hop, have a little fold and come on up. So we're going to start near the top of our mats, feet to hip width apart. I'm going to make sure I can see the camera. We're going to go through chair, flamingo, high lunge, into Flamingo and into Garandasana. So it's kind of bringing this element of one of the myths of uh, Garandasana or Garinda, which is the eagle pose. And it's that, we, you know, we're, we're sometimes told we're too much, we make ourselves small. Uh, and then it's like, no, I'm gonna expand and open up and, and open up. This, this is what I love with the high lunge. So when we work with the arms here, we can really open up into that back bend. So you're opening up your heart, opening up the chest. Whereas when we're made to feel small, we tend to wrap up whether we're in chair or whether we're going into Garandasana. So we're gonna talk you through this with the legs and then you can have a go with the arms as well. Don't overthink it. Remember, Gemini season, we tend to overthink. Don't worry if you're like, oh, I'm crossing that leg and I should be crossing this leg. This is just about finding the sequence. You can tweak it and modify it as much as you like. So, starting with the legs first, we're gonna bend the knees, sit the hips, the tailbone down and back. Let the chin and the chest draw forward, so you're pushing the hips back. Keep the knees, the feet, hip width apart. Use a wall or a chair if you need to. And hands can rest on the thighs or onto the hips. So I'm going to keep the hands in front of the heart. So you're shifting weight into the right leg. Lift the left foot up, so you're going into your flamingo pose. You're not squeezing the knees together. Push the left foot back, so your heel is lifted, but you're pushing the toes up all of the first to the mat. You can start to lift the chin and the chest. Moving into your high lunge, working with your balance. This is where a chair can be really good because you'd still be further forward. Just find that movement in the legs. Pull the body forward into your flamingo pose, lean the chin and the chest in, and then woo, even I'm wobbling now, cross the left leg over the right. So I'll show you this from the front. We're gonna cross, so you want top of the thigh and the back of the thigh to connect. Don't worry about this foot here. And then lower it down. If you're having a go with leaning, Using that support, find the muscle memory. So from chair, knees, feet, hip width apart. Shift the weight into the left leg, lift the right foot. Push the right foot back, high lunge. Move forward into flamingo and then cross the leg. Work with what feels right for you. I'm gonna move the camera just so you can see what I'm doing with the arms. Take your time. Bend the knees, sit down into the chair, you can raise the arms up. So you're getting a little bit of an opening. Shift the weight into the right knee, right foot, and lift the left foot up, flamingo pose. Pushing the foot back, take your time, find your balance. If you're ready to, open the arms up, lift the chin, lift the chest. High lunge. Exhale, pull the body forward. I like to bring the hands in using a bit of the, that fist of fire movement. And then cross the left arm, left leg, sorry, over the right leg. And then you can bring the left arm under the right arm, wrapping the arms for those Garandasana eagle arms. Unravel the arms, changing the legs. You can do that on the other side. So we're uh, feet to hip width apart, raise the arms up. Bend the knees, sit down into your chair pose. Lean the chin and the chest forward without sticking the tailbone out. So you're not arching into your back. Shift the weight to the left leg as you lift up into your flamingo. Right foot lifts. Push the right foot back. Start to find your high lunge. You can raise the arms up. Open the chin, open the chest. Leaning forward, pull that right leg in, flamingo pose. Crossing the right leg and taking the right arm under. Garandasana. Unraveling and releasing into chair pose. If you're feeling really enthusiastic, really energized, I'm going to put a couple of practices at the end here for my tutorials for crow pose and for side crow. Otherwise, we're going to be going into the practice next week with a bit of pranayama. So you might need to go into slowing down. You might go through some sun salutations. 
just a slow the body down your back and feel that now oh it's amazing how much heat that creates in the body but just start to slow the body down unless you're feeling pumped and energized to go with the day otherwise remember when week four comes up you can do this as a whole practice going through the the mudra the hand gesture we went through our octopus arms last week this little flow this week and then next week for the last week of our Gemini Vyana Vayu, we've got one last practice, but we're going to go into a pranayama or breathing technique. So I shall see you then. Thank you very much. If you haven't already, please do subscribe or have a go with a couple more practices here and here. Namaste.